We have successfully trailered our boat to the boat ramp, and we're now in the staging area where we're going to prepare the boat for launch. As part of the uh, boat ramp etiquette, you'll do your preparations here in the staging area and not at the ramp where you'll be in the way of people who are loading and unloading their boats. I've already attached the dock line to the boat. This will ensure that we have something to hold onto the boat when it floats off of the trailer. I use a pre-launch checklist to ensure that I get everything done. I have already fueled the boat. I have added oil to the oil tank for the engine. All of my safety gear is loaded on board, PFDs, throwable device, fire extinguisher. I'm now coming back and going to plug in the plug for the boat to ensure that we don't sink the boat at the ramp. The motor is trailered on a trailer lock. We're going to bring the engine up, take off the trail lock. We're going to bring the engine down most of the way. We don't want it down all the way so as we, we do not drag the lower unit as we're going down the ramp. And we're now ready to go to the ramp for launch. Whoa, big boy, whoa. All right, there's one other thing that you have to do before you launch your boat. Be sure that you check your transom tie downs. Make sure your transom tie downs are off the boat. I've seen so many people leave their transom tie downs on and when they launch their boat, the boat stays attached to the trailer. You don't want to sink your boat when you're trying to launch it. Now, folks, we've left our truck and trailer up in the staging area, and we've come down to the boat ramp to do a pre-ramp inspection. What I'm concerned with here is how steep the ramp is, how far I'm going to have to back my trailer in, how far back the ramp goes. We want to be sure that we don't back our trailer off the edge of the ramp, and also whether or not the, the ramp is coated with algae or not. All right, now we've completed our pre-launch check, and we're at the ramp. It's our turn to launch. For those of you that are just learning the skill of backing down, it's advisable that you back in nice and slow, that way, if you get off course a little bit, it's easy to make a correction. Now, we're going to back the boat in just far enough that uh, Cephas can go ahead and get the engine started to ensure that the engine's going to run before we actually take the boat off the trailer. All right, I'm putting the engine down. I'm going to fire it up. Now, I've also got my safety lanyard attached here. This is a cutoff switch or a kill switch. The safety lanyard's purpose is in case you were to be thrown from the boat or accidentally fall off the boat, this strap is attached to the ignition switch and will kill the engine to stop the boat. So I'm going to fire it up. Everything's good. Okay, Tony, come on back. All right, now we're going to back the, back the trailer in just far enough so that the boat begins to float. All right, the boat's floating. Put the boat, the vehicle in park. Emergency brake is on. I can now move back in. We're going to undo the safety chain. I'm going to take light pressure off the winch, release the winch lock. Because the boat's floating, it's going to fall away a little bit. That's normal. We're now going to undo the safety hook. Cephas, it's all yours. I should be able to back off with just a little bit of reverse throttle. All right, Tony, it looks good. I'll see you at the dock. Excellent. 